This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, for the next 24 hours, we're going to be surviving in the Canadian wilderness in the middle of winter. Oh, and yes, we are camping and we are doing all this with our one and a half year old hunter. <laughs> Do you want to come inside? I hope she's up for the adventure. This is the most excited I think I've been for this whole trip that we have planned. One, it is completely out of our comfort zone, but at the same time, it's like a test. These are the adventures we want to do as a family. Wow, welcome back to Canada. As you can see, we have definitely found the snow and look at this little snow bunny right here. <laughs> I wanted to show them, where's your cats? They're your cats! It's the first time we've ever convinced her to wear gloves. So last night we stayed just here in town at the Tomogamy Outfitting Co and Eric and Andy who work here are going to be taking us out onto this winter camp. So hospitable, so nice just to make some new friends out here in rural Canada where the population is like 900 people. <laughs> She's learnt a new handshake, the Canadian handshake. Hunter. Ready? Happy salmon! You want a happy salmon? <laughs> yes! This is probably the coldest we have, will be <laughs> in, in many years. And the coldest our little infant, Hunter, has been probably in her entire life. The boys are currently packing the car and uh, we are about to head out into the wilderness and go camping. Yep, we're going to be camping in the snow. We're right next to Lake Tomogamy. And this is just where the adventure begins. Day one of our expedition, it is Saturday and weather turned on us in the morning. It is freezing rain right now, but we didn't drive all the way out here to just chill. So we're just going to gear up and go check out the winter hand. Where you're going. Okay, you go That's your little, your, your little spaceship. Can I test it out? Yeah. yeah, okay. So does she sit in the back here? Yeah, she can sit wherever okay. she wants. Come here, Papa. Your Do carriage you awaits you, Queen Hunter. Are you ready? Oh, cozy. Look at you. <laughs> now, Hunter, you say go. One, two, three. Go. go. That's that too fun? cute. Do you like that? Hunter! Good to go. go. Alright. Let's do this. We had a lot of snow last night, so we've got some snow boots on. Let's head up! Thing so far as Hunter's little chariot. <laughs> she just looks adorable. Hi, Papa. <laughs> and we kind of have the snowshoes out trekking through the Canadian wilderness. I feel like we are always looking out for something super unique to do when we head out to these countries. And uh, I feel like if you come here in the winter, this has to be one of the most unique things you can do. We're just pulling up to the camp. Wow. This is even cooler than I was expecting it to look. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Wow. <laughs> look at this. We're passing in the snow. This is just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, this is amazing what you guys have here. Okay. Use guys. Use guys. So you can fit five people in there if you really wanted to. So I just take a dining tent, 10 by 12. Yep. You can get it roasting hot in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Wow. This is so cool. Do you want to go inside and have a look? Mm. Oh, do you want to go have a look? Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's go inside. So this is the cooking and dining, right? Yes, and kind of the hangout. Yeah. Look at this, there's even a little stove, like a little fire. Wow. Is this cozy? 
Yeah, you like it? You can grab a seat anywhere you want. Do you have a seat? All right. Having the true Canadian experience, Hunter. So we've sledded out through the snow. You know, take a load off, Hunter. You have just worked so hard to get out here. <laughs> Good work. Good work. Can you see it on the camera on me? Uh, yeah, go. Ready? Hey. It makes it look like it's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a ton. Right over here. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the wait? Is that yummy? Do you want some more? Get some more? <laughs> Good. Nothing's better yummy. than having warm hot chocolate and just seeing snow outside of the tent. This is a good way to kick off the morning. Wow, this experience doesn't get more incredible than this. There is just snow everywhere. This week the weather has been from negative 25 up to zero, up to five, down to negative one. I don't know what to expect, but all I know right now is we will be camping in the snow and we could get any one of those weathers. So that's the kitchen, dining room, hangout zone. And this here is the tent that we're gonna be sleeping in. Is you get the, the everything dries out very quickly because this stove will rage this this area. It'll it'll be 30 degrees in here. Wow. That smells so good. Smells... Oh, look at this hunter. You guys need to bottle that up. Wow. So then you just pop these down. So the furs go down. And then we strew about the Pendleton blankets, the, the thermorests are these these sort of air mattresses. And then you have minus 40 sleeping bags. That is so And this really thing cool. going uh, dries everything off. Like, obviously you don't want it like that. Yeah. So you'd kind of just start to weave them about. And then they kind of get beaten down a little bit. The yeah. more you kind of live in here. I still can't believe we're staying here tonight. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> here we go. All right, come on in. It is so warm and toasty. This is perfect. That's what I was worried about, being cold. I know, we are not going to be cold tonight. It is so warm in here already. But uh, welcome to our tent. As you can see, it is a pretty big tent. It's a little unique because there is no floor. As you can see below me, the snow and ice is right there. And then on top of it, they've placed all these birch wood leaves and that's meant to take away all the moisture. So the ground is nice and dry. And then on top of the birch wood leaves, they've placed these big pieces of fur, a little mattress and 40, negative 40, right? Negative 40. Negative 40 sleeping bags. So hopefully tonight we are nice and toasty and warm and comfy on here but uh because of the birchwood leaves it smells so amazing in here it almost smells like that we were in a hot sauna don't you think steve oh, yeah, I didn't think that. that's what it reminds me of straight away and as you can see on top of our little stove here there is a fan and that is blowing hot air directly onto us this has got to be one of the most unique places we have ever stayed and it's pretty cool that we can take hunter out here on adventures like this this was when we first had Hunter, we wanted to do these type of adventures as a family. Like, we didn't just want to stop. So this is the test. A little bit nervous, but also at the same time, a little bit excited. Like, this this could be a game changer if we, if we go through this. <laughs> and she already loves the sled. You guys are also probably wondering, where's the bathroom? Yeah. Can you see it back there? It's the wilderness. There is literally no bathroom if you need to go. Just pick yourself something out in the wilderness and um, yeah, just let everybody know to look the other way. <laughs> this is the main tent and before I take you guys inside, 
I just want to show you. Yes, there is tarp, of course, like with the tent, but they've used so much of the nature around us to build it up. The foundations of the tent, that's wood right there. They've pretty much constructed and built this camp for us to stay in. And so this is where we're going to dine. This is where we're going to relax. This is where hot chocolate is going to be made. This is pretty much where we're going to hang out most of the time, especially if the elements do change against us. At least we should be nice and toasty inside there because that also has a full-blown fire and stove going. Yum! Got some chowder. It's hot though, okay? We'll wait for it to cool down in a bit. Mm. Got some super tasty seafood chowder for lunch. If you guys are wondering how we're going to be eating out here at the winter camp, no, not going to be going to hunt for our food. We have pretty much brought all our meals with us and we're either going to be cooking them or reheating them up. But oh, if anything's going to be like this for the rest of the trip, we are going to eat so well. This is one of the tastiest seafood chowders I've had. Mm. Hey everyone, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to Squarespace who are longtime friends and partners of this channel. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. They have a ton of award-winning templates which make it so easy to put together a website. So whether it's for your small business or you're wanting to start a travel blog like we have, make sure you go and check out our link in the description for your free trial Plus, you can also get 10% of your first purchase of a domain or blog. Now, let's head back to the travels. Hunter, do you want to go for a sleigh ride? Three, two, two one, one, go! Hey, <laughs> there's a smile. The whole crew is here. <laughs> <laughs> so this afternoon's activity we're heading out going for a bit of a snowshoe and the queen is in her carriage woken up from her nap all nice and chill and we're just gonna go for a little bit of a walk just gonna drag her around see what we can see <laughs> Apparently quite deep inside the forest at the moment and I would just love to know what is going through Hunter's mind at the moment. <laughs> she She's just so sitting sick. there smashing down on a snack and is just enjoying probably the best view in the world as she just gets dragged around. <laughs> As a thrill seeker myself, I am very <laughs> happy that Hunter is enjoying the bobsled ride because she, every time it's shaken up, she just loves it. Why? Why? So you left, uh, you left your nice, heated, heated homeland to come here to freeze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Tina, hi. Hi. Wow, that was an absolute surprise it was so special so eric and andy had organized for a couple from the first nation tribes around the area to come out like the trees wouldn't grow without energy they wouldn't grow without uh, water or nutrients from the ground so everything's connected that's why uh, our Anishinaabe ways we really truly believe we're all connected because we wouldn't really be here if we didn't have water and spend the afternoon with us they sat down Oh, perfect. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The little one smudge? Oh, definitely. Hunter, oh, look. Look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> there. He's like, what, what is she smudged? doing? <gasps> That's just smoke. Look. Oh, smudge. Oh, oh, look. Oh, nice. For your guidance, eh? Oh, thank you. Because we do everything with love, eh? Everything with love. Yes. 
Thank you. Yeah. Us, they sat down, they sang us songs, they, they spent time explaining their culture, their connection to the lands, to the spirits, and it was absolutely amazing as a parent. This is why we do these things, being able to show Hunter just different cultures around the world, just getting those life skills, and it just was absolutely amazing. They were su two such special people, and they just took such good care of us, and it was just such a special surprise. Could I get a hug? Little shining star. Yeah, you we say a anang. Look, touch. We say a anang. We say a you shining star. Yeah. 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 I know you know. Yeah. I know you know. Eh? Yeah. 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 Beautiful star. Say thank you. Beautiful thank you star. Coming. Thank you. Oh, thank you so nice much. You yeah, Have you a good too. time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Did mom get you the snow? I can close my eyes again. Watch out, Hunter. One, two, three. All over your face. I went inside to just to go warm Hunter up and Jess was like, I finished the snowman, you need to come, be super impressed, take a photo for me. He looks like a little blob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, first snowman. Nice to meet you. Let's go. Look at that, they're rainbow colored, tuna belly. And you know, they all have these big eyes, very big eyes. I'm just gonna become a fisherman. Yep. Okay, what else do I got? <laughs> that was, a, what else we got here? Broken canoes, there's a lot of broken canoes. That's a big problem with us, we rent the canoes. So Andy's just given us a couple of these booties. So at the end of the day, when you just can't be bothered putting your boots on and off to go inside, you can just slip into these. <laughs> Jess has them on. No, the best bit is that at the end of the day, you can take your boots off. See? That's the best feeling, especially after being in the snow all day. <laughs> wow, look at all the track. Is that Uber Eats? Yeah. yeah, and I brought us some adult beverages. Oh, yay! <laughs> Oh, you got the booties on. We got yeah. the booties on, and they're so nice. <laughs> How are the feet? Are they nice? They're yes. nice and bootylicious. Oh, there you go. Bootylicious was. <laughs> How much more of an effort would it made for me to just? Want some? Yeah, tell Dada. Tell Dada. Do you want some hot chocolate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
condition. <laughs> In all your wounds, the berries will fill. It'll make your pain taste sweeter. It's when the time stands still, let it lean on your will. Let the juices of the memories to kill. The halibut? Yeah. Oh. This is one of those nights where you go from so hungry to so full in like the space of a minute. We got the corn on the cob too. Oh. Oh. We even have steel cutlery. Oh. Fancy. We are not animals, Candy. We are not animals. <laughs> Oh, you do want you want some, some potatoes? Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, do you want some asparagus? Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That was, that was the biggest uh -oh. nope I've ever seen. Don't oh. let the chef see that. Look so for dinner, fish. we have an absolute feast. Mm. We have halibut with some lemon on top, with some asparagus, as Hunter just tried. <laughs> it's pretty good, don't worry. There's some potatoes. Corn and the cob just came out. Mm. Oh, you should show them. Wait, we'll show them after we eat. Mm -hmm. The uh, Canadian dessert that we're going to have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Butter tarts. I'm sure all Canadians know what it is. Hunter <laughs> loves them. <laughs> ah, guess what it is? You ready? <gasps> oh, do you know what these are? We can all three can share one. Ready? Look at this. Whoa. Oh. Here it is. So this mm. is a butter tart. It almost tastes a little bit like a pecan pie, but without pecans. Oh, mm. as you can see, Hunter's a fan. Mm. Wanna try? Mm. Are we gonna share? Mm. Mm. It's like caramelly, a little bit. Tastes like a pecan pie, but not. They're really good. You have to share them though. I feel like I couldn't eat one myself. They're like super sweet. Scoop of ice cream. Mm. Oh, it would go good. Right, cheers! Cheers! Thanks, cheers! Guys. Thank you. Thank cheers, you. Hunter. Cheers. Do we get a cheers from you? Cheers, Ding. Ding. milk tart. Yay! <laughs> All right, first night camping. We kind of thrown you into the deep end, Bubba. It's not only first night camping, but it's first night winter camping in the snow. How are we going? <laughs> Good. Are we ready? All right, we've had the stove running for a few hours now, so it should be nice and toasty in here. Hunter, have you even seen this spot yet? Oh, can I show you something? Oh, it's so warm, Steve. Yes, go in, Bubba. Off you go. It's so warm. Whoa. Hey, now, Hunter, we did not touch that. We seriously are the best idea. I'm going to leave them at the end of my bed, just in case in the middle of the night, nature calls. Which I hope it doesn't. I feel like it's going to be cold out there. <laughs> it's so toasty in here. I feel like I'm going to start the night just lying on top of everything. It's also pretty cool because this is Hunter's first night ever properly camping. And what a story to say that her first camping experience is out here in the winter, in the snow. But I'm not even scared about staying the night in the cold because we have a... I know. We have another, a bigger issue on our hands right now. So since Hunter was born, every single night she's slept with, we call it a dummy or a pacifier. And we had one left and today show them what she did. She ripped like the dummy bit off. So now we have no dummy. So Hunter's first night sleeping without a dummy is going to be camping. I know you remember you ripped it off and broke it. So I thought we would use this time maybe to wean her off the dummy officially, but um, Hunter, she's never slept through the night without it. So this is <laughs> this is going to be one. It's like mummy has her own sleep sack like Hunter's. Do you want to come inside? Oh, these are so soft and cozy. Ready? I know I'm going straight out of these. It's hot. <laughs> All right. Now we are ready for camping. All right. Hunter, can you say good night? Say bye. <laughs> Good night. Let's switch off the lights. See you guys in the morning.
You want to go in there where it's all cozy and warm? <sighs> Nothing is better than having a hot cup of coffee after you've been camping. So I thought I'd be waking up saying we survived our first night in the snow camping, but instead I'm saying we survived our first night with Hunter not having her dummy. Oh my goodness. It was warm. It was cozy. We slept fine, but it took her about two hours to get down. And then she woke up at 1.30 and cried for about 45 minutes wanting her dummy. And there's just nothing we can do because I can't get her another one out here. There is no stores out here. And now that we've gone through one night of her not having a dummy, I'm like, do we just keep on going now? Like we've gone through the, probably the hardest part the first night. So Hunter, if you watch this back, you did well with the winter camping. Not so well, not having your dummy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you are ever in Canada, you need to come out to Tomogamy. Check out Tomogamy Outfitters because they have the most amazing tours. They don't even just have this. You can go ice fishing. If you come in the summer, you can go canoeing for like days on like an expedition. That is what we need to come back to do. If it's you guys amazing. want to see that, let us know in the comments as well. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching guys. We have um, one more Canadian video coming your way. See you guys next time. Bye.